Welcome back to my lovely channel. I um, hope you babes are having a glorious um, Wednesday because today is Wednesday, June 30th. It's the last day of Pride, guys. Sad shit, you know? I'm filming a video because I want to talk with you guys about something super serious that's been going on just recently and I wanted to address some points and kind of give my opinion on it because that's what your girl's all about being a very opinionated bitch. So with that being said, let's get into right what this video is all about. I kind of wanted to go into a little subject real quick that has been going around for maybe a couple days and I wanted to kind of express my opinions on it because knowing, because most of you guys know me as being the very like opinionated person that I am and I always have thoughts to say about certain topics. And what I saw recently was the whole entire controversy between how Gabby was act, how Miss Gabby Hanna was acting on season four of of Escape the Night, and um, I saw Joey Graceffa's video, um, I saw Daniel Prada's video, and they were both equally making really good points. I did even see Gabby's video, and let me tell you. It was probably the most appalling shit I've ever fucking seen in my life because it's absolutely ridiculous that even someone would even like act like that at all. Like, like I don't understand it. Like it makes me kind of concerned that, you know, that a grown ass woman would act the way that she did. She's mentioned many times and it's probably to the point where it's overly annoying that she has ADHD and I get it because I get people with like mental health issues like that, that, you know, that people act a certain way, but for her to act like that on a set of not even a friend, like just like a set of a show that she was privileged to be on makes no fucking sense why she would act like that because no one should act like that. Like what the hell? Okay. So about this whole, about Gabby Hanna's whole experience with like the whole like escape the night type of situation where she had an issue with um, basically the entire entirety of it. And the fact that she really like um, came through and, you know, admitted that she was a bitch and an asshole on set. And I'm not even proud of her for doing that. I mean, 5% of me is proud of her for at least admitting that shit, but the rest of me is still on the fact that she really acted like that at all on that set of the show because everybody apparently had complaints about her. And it was absolutely ridiculous. So my friend is making life on set a living hell by being disrespectful and rude and mean and foul to not only cast, but crew. Screaming at the director demanding things and calling a production assistant a dumb cunt is not how you act on set of one of your friends, not even just your friend, any set. And first of all, I'd like to say personally that Joey is correct about the whole set etiquette thing because he's not wrong. When you're on a set of practically any show or any movie, it's always best to act a certain way on set because you're given so many things on that set that are given to you and you should be grateful for what you get and grateful that you even got to be in this opportunity because let me tell you something Gabby and yes I'm and am I gonna call her out for like a majority of this video absolutely because that's just what I do best Gabby listen to me very carefully because you're probably not gonna see this video but whatever might as well say it now and proud you don't act the way that you did on set. I know that you so-called admitted then and you said that you admitted to acting and being a bitch, but I'm still going to call you out for it because, you know, it like it needs to be said and I don't know many how many times I got to say this because it's going to get to the point where it's annoying. But you can't just act a certain way on set. Like you were given so many really good things on the set thanks to Joey and Daniel. Daniel, I give huge props to being such an amazing ass producer for offering such a, f for, like, first of all, I, I saw a video of what the trailer looked like. Oh, that shit was nice. It was fancy. 
it uh, it had really nice snacks in it and it and mind you in that trailer had healthy options because miss gabby over here wanted to complain and say there were no healthy options for her and she needed stuff to fill her dietary needs now i get that people do have dietary needs and they need to kind of f fulfill that shit but you want to know whose fault that is for not filling out the dietary restriction forms and all the paperwork you gabby you're the one who wanted to not fill it out at all you're the one who wanted to so-called just decide not to fill out the form and you decided to fill it out on the day that you arrived on set rather than filling it out days before you showed up to set it makes no fucking sense to me i don't know who fucking does that but like the nerve of you to do that is just fucked up which is probably why you didn't have any of the food that you did not request for was because you did not because you decided to be a dumb bitch and fill that shit out way later rather than filling it out or and you decided to fill it out then rather than later and it's so fucking stupid like oh my god uh, let me just show you a clip of what Joey said because he kind of says it better than I do. Or we start filming to get people's medical information and their allergies and any food restrictions. Gabby didn't fill this out until the day we were on set. Miss Gabby, can we do a little BTS? Of course. Moments? How is course, she? Darling. Look at she's got her yellow hair on. We're doing that. She's practicing her script. <laughs> Filling out my medical information. <laughs> You're supposed to fill this out beforehand so we can get everything prepared. With Gabby, you know, having all this stuff here with her complaining, also not to mention this bitch also complained about her wardrobe and it not being at, and how she was saying it was restrictive. I'll insert a clip right now. Up to set and like one of the things they promised was like, we promise we'll get you a really comfortable outfit. They were bragging that they were like spent all this money on this like beautiful silk. And I'm like, please just make sure I'm warm. I don't want to be in heels again. Like, dude, this is like literally playing physical sports outside in costume. But she was basically saying how her clothing was basically restricting and how she couldn't move. Um, hmm. Who can take a guess on whose fault that was for not showing up to two of the three costume fittings? you bitch it was literally your fault you were the one who decided to not show up and you literally stood up a woman who at the time was nine months pregnant and flew all the way to your studio out of her way to have you fit those costumes and you decided to not show up because you just you just had that choice and you were just like oh yeah i'm gonna stand her up because i feel like it and i don't care if it had to work some around your schedule but you just decided to be that bit that that dumb bitch and stand her up which is so fucking rude because that woman went, went really went out of her way for you to help you out and get your costume fitted which is exactly why it was restricting and you were also complaining i'll insert a clip right now of her complaining about her jewelry and how she was complaining about that shit and i'll explain to that to y'all in a second asked me like are you allergic to any metals when i was getting this costume and i was like i'm highly allergic to pretty much all metal except for like sterling silver white gold first day right off the bat i'm wearing all of this fake huge chunky jewelry that did break me out in very like painful itchy hives all over my body not just where it was but miss girl was also complaining about the fact that um that her jewelry that it gave her like a bunch of hives and breakouts and stuff like that when literally miss girl and she explained in her video how they asked her if she was allergic to any like metals and whatever and she said that she's not allergic to sterling silver mind you in daniel's video the necklace that she wore was sterling silver I'm kind of confused on where that doesn't fucking connect because it doesn't make any sense to me. But she literally could have communicated to the wardrobe team because she's saying that they forced her to wear the necklace. Where? Who? Because Daniel literally said that they weren't forcing her to wear it. She could have easily communicated with the wardrobe team and said, hey, this necklace, I don't like that it gives me hives and rashes. Can I take it off? And they could have easily said yes. Like, I feel like one... I. I Okay, I feel like like I feel like Gabby's main issue with this entire thing is communication. She sucks at it. I swear. I can say that now. She sucks at communication. I swear. If I'm getting anything from this entire drama thing, is that she sucks so much ass at communication and it's terrible. I mean, honey, there are better people out here who are actually professional and know how to communicate with others. Like, I know that there were some other issues with some people, but at least they managed to figure it out by actually communicating with the people on set. 
rather than just being a bitch about it and making up lies. Like, Gabby, no one likes that. I swear, please. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, but also, not to mention Miss Girl, um, the another thing that she was also saying about was her dietary needs and stuff. Which, by the way, is not weird for any type of actor or talent on set to have a request like dietary needs. That's a very personal thing. Some people need vegan food on set, some people need gluten-free. You know, because she was complaining that she was basically complaining that her that her costume did not fit that she had to wear this necklace that gave her rashes and stuff like honey there's a magical store called the cvs where they got cream you can just buy some to cure that shit because it's really not that hard it's not rocket science even albert einstein could figure that out and he's a fucking genius like i don't know like who has to tell you that shit but like it shouldn't be me like that's embarrassing I can't believe that the fact that you're getting really told off by an 18 year old girl who is probably more professional than you will ever be in your entire life. And mind you, I'm not that big in the YouTube industry. Like I'm really not that, I'm, one, I'm not one of those like big YouTube channels that you see on, on, an, on an everyday basis. I'm one of those like small channels who's like slowly starting to grow. But like, Gabby, you really need to learn how to kind of like take that shit and just don't find some way to make it into a problem because one of your biggest issues is you're manipulative and it's... Another big thing that I really appreciated about this entire controversy was that Rosanna Pancino had tweeted, I'll pop up a picture right here, but she had tweeted about basically her concerns and it regards to Gabby's video and stuff and she made a list of the, of the complaints that she had, which first of all, props to Rosanna for even saying that stuff because honestly i could never even hike saying her concerns and stuff because she's honestly one of the biggest i've i've been i've been watching rosanna pancina for a really long time i think it's probably since 2018 that's how long i've been watching her i've loved her content her baking videos are absolutely amazing i'm still like praying to get her cookbook because i really want to make some of her d delicious sweets that i've loved so much from her channel because it's absolutely amazing but um, she did explain her concerns and stuff about Gabby and what's been going on, which she's been absolutely amazing for. But like Gabby just needs to understand that what she did was obviously not okay. And I get that, and I'm, once again, I get that she owned up to it, but I will still not get over the fact that the way that she acted and the, and the way that she complained and the fact that she really went ahead and decided to blow up in front of the entire crew and call one of the members of the crew a dumb cunt and walked out is obviously not okay. Like, honey, watch yourself because you do realize that they they have more control over anything than you probably ever could. You may have the power of manipulation and all that shit, but they got the power to like snap you out of existence, honey, because you gotta like check your tone, please. Like check your privilege at the door. And the fact, what even disgusts me even more is the voice note that Gabby had sent Daniel. I will display a clip of it now. People had way less to complain about. They all make their managers and agents do it or just talk shit about you and Joey behind your back instead of saying it to you and demanding the respect that they want instead of bitching about it behind your back, which maybe that's like, maybe that's fun, but maybe you're supposed to bitch behind people's backs in Hollywood. But if I'm sitting there and I'm uncomfortable and like, I have very minimal, simple requests like, hey, can I please not be standing out in 30 degree weather and just silk this year? Can I please move my arms this year? Can I please like wear jewelry that I'm not allergic to this year? And all of those things are ignored. I'm sorry, that, that is unbelievable to me that you just spoke to me like that. It absolutely appalls me that first of all, Gabby would even say that the fact that you would talk to me that way Honey, watch who you're talking to. He literally, okay, I would like to give a huge shout out to Daniel Prada for working his ass off on this show. He did so many fucking jobs on this show. He had so many things to take care of all at one time to make this huge project a success, which it was. And I praise him for that because it's a lot of jobs and it's a lot of work that also involves a team effort, which I could not imagine being a producer and having that many jobs at one time because as of my job, as you guys know currently, I work at a local daycare at my job. And 
I am responsible for like taking care of kids and making sure that they're on a routine and stuff and making sure that I do my certain things I need to do but he oh my lord I could never do that in a million years so like props to him for like managing to figure that out and managing to like put that all together and make it so beautiful and so glorious and it's absolutely incredible but good lord Gabby you could not be more ungrateful you saying that you had to sit there for hours and hours in glam and whatever honey do you realize how many people around my town would kill to do that, honest to God, and get paid millions? Gabby, like, do you understand how many people would kill to do what you did and you, how you say that you're so-called complaining having to sit there for hours on end and full glam for so many hours to wait for your fucking interviews to get paid millions of dollars? Bitch, I would kill to fucking do that. I would kill to- Okay, so moving past that- with that being said, um, I kind of wanted to bring attention to just some of the things that Gabby was just saying about just overall. You know that like Daniel and Joey are two of the biggest shit talkers on the planet. All YouTubers are, including me. I was too. Hola, me and editing. So I'd like to first quickly say that first of all, Gabby, um, Joey and Daniel are not the biggest shit talkers on the planet. If anything, you are probably the biggest shit talker on the planet because you're the one who started the most drama out of everybody. And you saying that you, and saying that the past tense say that you were a shit talker, bitch, you still are now. So I don't want to fucking hear it. Like, I don't want to hear your fucking pathetic excuses because J Joey and Daniel were actually making clear, straight facts and you're just fucking mad because they had the facts and the receipts to prove that shit and you probably had maybe 50 fucking percent of that, so. Like, like, we all understand that the way Gabby acted obviously was not okay. It was so unprofessional. It was unacceptable. And I'm hoping that, like, Back in 2017 was when I originally started watching Gabby's content because it back at the time, it was really good. It was fun and fresh, it was nice. And then towards over the years, her content started getting a little bit sloppy. And my friends wanted to tell me, saying that, oh, Gabby Hanna's not really that good anymore. She's trash, this, that, and the third. And it's one of those things where for me, I have to see it first before I believe it. So if you come up to me and say, that Gabby had is trash or this, that, or something else, then I'm not gonna believe it until I see physical or some type of evidence. And from what I saw in Gabby's video, Joey's video, and Daniel's video, I can safely say, I can finally say that I can officially see Gabby's true colors on who she really is as a fucking person. She's nothing but a uh, manipulative, backstabbing, complaining, five-year-old childish bitch who thinks that she can just play the victim card and use ADHD as a crutch for most of her excuses on why she was a mess, which really she cannot because I get that a lot of people have their mental issues, but you can't just use that as an excuse because I know people who have ADHD and I know that people and I know that different people handle their ADHD in different ways, but how you acted on set and how you acted overall in general with this entire thing was absolutely disgusting and it was disgraceful. And I'm hoping that you learn in the future to never do this shit again because it's absolutely ridiculous. This is the first time I've ever gotten myself into some type of drama that was like this. And hopefully it will never happen again where you have to have an 18 year old black girl tell you your rights from your wrongs, which is low key embarrassing because you're older than I am and I even know how to act more mature than you do. Mind you, I have anxiety and I'm actually going through some current mental health problems as we speak. And the fact that you're acting like this is ridiculous. It's absolutely disgusting that you're acting like this. And I'm hoping that you learn your ways and I'm hoping that you'll learn to find some type of clarity and you'll learn to accept your shit and not to be a manipulating bitch because let's be real, Gabby, no one wants to be friends with you because you're nothing but a drama st starting path pathological liar. And it's absolutely ridiculous that you would even think to even set yourself in that environment. Like that's disgusting. I used to be a fan of you back then and now I'm no longer a fan of you because of the shit that you caused and the drama that you started and now it's gone away. And I don't even know if I'm ever gonna get that back from you. It's ridiculous how you're acting like this. But 
good lord this is the first time i've ever insinuated myself in something like this i hope i have stated my case i have said my concerns i have spoken so overall i hope gabby learns her lesson from this entire controversy i'd like to give a huge shout out to joey graceffa and daniel prada for being the big like truth comers of this entire thing because y'all really laid down the facts and y'all really stated your shit as did i and i stated my opinion that needed to be said so you're welcome and hopefully she'll learn to you know grow on from this and hopefully she won't be a manipulating asshole thanks but with that being said i hope you guys um enjoyed my exposing i won't be doing this often but if you guys want to see any more of my fun content you guys can subscribe down below click the bell and turn on post notifications so you guys can see when i'm uploading but um, I hope to update you guys with more even fun content that's not this. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.